right, guys, we are fixing to make homemade butter. All you need is a mixer, heavy whipping cream, and a little bit of salt. Once yours flavored, add your own seasoning. I'm gonna use this as my mold for my butter. So, you need a mixer. This one is one quart. I'm gonna measure it out so you guys know how much milk is in here. Make sure it's the heavy whipping cream. This one is three and a half quarts. I mean three and a half cups. We're gonna add it in. Yes, I know. Heavy whipping cream makes whipping cream. But watch, you can make it on butter. We're gonna start off on low. Use your whisk. Speed it up. And during the process, I'll show you how it changes. And just hold it on. I wish I had a splash guard. Do this for probably three, four minutes. I have one teaspoon of salt. I have my spatula here. I have some saran wrap. Okay, I'm gonna stop it and show you something. See how it's become whipping cream. See? All right. We're getting there. Cut it back on. Now cut it up on high. Let the machine do the work. See how it's beginning to get thicker? It will actually separate the butter from the buttermilk. will actually start to turn yellow like butter mm -hmm. 
Okay, sometimes depending on the temperature in the house, you might have to go a little bit longer. Um, the humidity has a lot to do with it too. So three and a half cups of heavy whipping cream. And we're gonna have probably anywhere from three to four sticks of butter. And basically, this is organic. It doesn't have all those uh, preservatives and chemicals into this butter. Now that it's going to be beginning to get a little bit thicker, you can take and start adding a little bit of salt at a time. Let it mix in. That's all I'm putting in mine. You can add Italian seasoning. If you want to add fresh garlic, add it in. You want to add parsley, add it in. You want your butter, if you want your butter in the molds and made them certain little shapes, you can mold your butter into it. Alright, I'm going to stop it a second and kind of show y'all the consistency. See how it's beginning to get in knots? And I'm kind of scooping it away from the side so that we can get it worked up. All right, lock it, cut it back on high. This may take a little bit but more. Usually two cups, um, it only takes about three minutes. But since this here is three and a half cups, we may have to go a little bit longer. It. 
And to me, this tastes better than the butter you get in a store. All right, I'm gonna stop it, scrape the sides, cut it back on. And you can kind of see we're getting a little liquid down in there. That is the butter milk. You save that, put it in a mason jar, and you can cook with it wherever it says to add buttermilk. All right, guys, I'm going to show you all real quick. See how the water has become out? That's buttermilk, okay? This is the butter, okay? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab all the butter off of here. I washed my hands, guys. All my butter squeeze it all right guys <clears throat> here's the water what some people call the buttermilk that you get off of the butter here is the butter I got it out and I'm going to take my container, you can put it in a mason jar or whatever, and I'm going to put this back in the box. So if I want to make buttermilk biscuits or something, I can use this. All right, we're trying it one more time. The milk from the butter is in here, which we call buttermilk. This is the butter that you get from making your own butter. Now, you want to squeeze as much as possible, see, where you can get any excess buttermilk from your butter. Now, this is where you can take a mold, a butter mold, whatever. Let me rinse this out again. And what you do is stick it in here, mold it down, press. And you will get some more milk out. And I'm going to show you what you do. Pour it out. Now watch this. See, you can get more out. Now, I mean, you can make the smaller sticks, but what I'm doing is I'm just going to press mine into this, put some saran wrap on it. And this is good for three to four weeks in the refrigerator. So whenever I need butter, I just come here and get it. If you 
want to make it in a ball and just wrap it up in strand wrap, you can do that. But it's best to keep it sealed. And you see how smooth it is? You put it in the refrigerator and just let it cool is what I'm going to do. But I'm going to show you guys first before I do that. I have a little, little bit of butter here. Tastes like butter. I'm going to have Mikey try it. And tell me. Does it taste like butter to you? You know how butter tastes. Mm. Yeah, I don't like it that much. Tastes like butter. Tastes like butter. All right, we just can get hubby to taste real quick. Hey, babe. Yes, sir. I want you to do a taste test on camera. Does this taste like butter to you? Like butter. <laughs> mm. I, it's not Alright guys, it's butter. It's butter, yeah. Homemade butter. Alright, what you do is put your top on. And what I do is I think I'm butter all over I take strand wrap and I wrap mine stick it in the fridge dryer let it get cold and whenever I want butter it will flip out I'll turn it upside down it will flip out and I have butter but this is the big butter thing, guys. But it's homemade butter. Let me know if you like it. Please give me a thumbs up. Love you guys.